Hi everyone, my name is Swami Revati Kanta. I am a Hindu Vaishnava monk. I am a disciple of Paramahamsa Vishwananda and I'm here to explain what my new podcast is all about. For the last decade I've been teaching thousands of people uh, about Hindu philosophy, Vaishnava philosophy, theology, focusing on the Bhagavad Gita, which is uh, one of the most famous and prominent scriptures of Hinduism and a scripture that has changed my life in a very profound way. And during that time, a lot of people have been asking me, Swamiji, why don't you start a YouTube channel? Why don't you start a podcast? Why don't you share the insights and the experiences that you've accumulated over almost 20 years of this path with your spiritual master, with the rest of the world? We would love to share it with our friends, with people who we come across, um, and we can't always bring them to your lectures. And so here we are, we're gonna do this. Um, the channel is called Thinking Bhakti. Now Bhakti means devotion. And the whole world runs on devotion in one way or another. Everybody is devoted to their dreams, ambitions, to their family, to their nation, to spirituality, to God. And I want to talk about devotion, about bhakti, in a more intellectual way, in a more thoughtful way. Exploring it, diving into it, trying to understand all the crossovers that happen between the feelings of devotion, emotion, love, but also psychology, also behaviors, and also a lot of things that people struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis um, in general, in general about being human beings in this world and how it is that we are able to derive purpose, derive meaning, satisfaction, fulfillment from life. And all of that is hugely interconnected. So I hope to have conversations, deep, profound explorations, conversations with people who are on this path with me, my God brothers and God sisters, people who have um, taught alongside me, who I've spoken to in private for years, and now I'd love to make those conversations public, but also with anyone, anyone who's willing to dialogue with me about these topics, about spirituality, about devotion, about God, about human psychology and human society and whatever else the topics may be. And it's very, very important to me that one of the cornerstones of this effort is uh, truth seeking, but not in the way of like, Oh, exposing things and uncovering secrets. No, an internal truth seeking that we try to understand the human condition and we try to understand how to be the best versions of ourselves within the, let's say, spiritual philosophical context of Hinduism and Vaishnavism and specifically the teachings of my spiritual master, Paramahamsa Vishwananda. And having said that, I have to be transparent with you. It is my greatest wish that as many people as possible meet Paramahamsa Vishwananda. So he is my spiritual master. He's the person that is the inspiration behind everything I'm doing now. He is the person that I wholeheartedly wish that all of you are able to experience. His wisdom, his teaching, his guidance, who he is and his love. And so a big, big component of what I'm doing here is not only to have these explorations and conversations about these various topics, but also to um, bring him as a person and his teachings to you, to the audience, to whoever it may be, to my guests, so that people can understand the unique perspectives and the unique offerings that he is bringing to the table. A lot of the things we're gonna be talk, talking about have already been talked about ad nauseum. But my point is not to rehash old arguments or to bring up topics that have already been addressed, but rather to try to introduce a new lens, a different way of looking at these topics, a different way of thinking about them. Obviously, I represent a very ancient tradition. Hinduism and Vaishnavism is not a new thing. It is something that has been around for millennia. The point is, the perspectives that I'm able to bring to the table for being a Western man, practicing a Eastern religion guided by my spiritual master, but living out here and having experienced the world to the extent that I have, I believe I'm able to bring a unique perspective to the table. I believe my guests will be able to bring unique perspectives to the table. And that is something that I'm definitely, definitely gonna be looking for, chasing after. People who are open to having honest conversations, sometimes uncomfortable conversations, so that we can really dive into um, these topics from a new angle, exposing new perspectives and new attitudes with which we can take something back from them and actually improve our lives and make a lot of the, the misconceptions that exist around Eastern spirituality, gurus and monkhood and all these sorts of things um, go away and, and show that to my uh, experience, at least and in my opinion, a lot of what the Bhagavad Gita brings to the table, if not all of it, is hugely applicable to today's society and hugely, hugely, hugely helpful in navigating today's society, in allowing you to become the best versions of yourself and beyond. And so again, I hope to see you all on the channel. 
um, for the weeks, months, and years to come, please engage with me. I will be engaging back with you. So comment, um, write to me personally on my social media pages, um, because I'll take inspiration from the conversations that we have. And it may lead to future episodes, future guests. If you know anybody that you'd love for me to talk to, please reach out to me. Again, I'm trying to have this be as open and open-minded a podcast as possible. So don't be shy. Do reach out. Do engage. Share. Share especially with friends that you think might have the slightest interest in the subject matters that we'll be discussing here on the podcast. I'd greatly appreciate it. So I look forward to spending all of this time with you guys. I look forward to having these conversations that I used to have in private and public. I look forward to sharing the insights and experiences that I've received from my spiritual master with you on these platforms online, in video, in audio. So please join me for this journey. It's my pleasure and I look forward to everything that's to come. Thank you.